Today I am working on an ATC challenge, hashtag ATCAD2017, that stands for ATC A Day 2017. The challenge is to create an artist trading card, ATC, one every day in the month of June. I have learned about this from Peg Robinson. There is a link to her channel in the description box below. What I am doing is creating these themed ATCs that I'm calling Shades of Gray. Shades of Gray. And I'm using vintage photos that I fussy cut from a child craft encyclopedia. Now, I got these at the Goodwill. I was at a flea market this weekend, and I did see an entire set of these. It would have cost me a dollar per book. I just got two or three of them. I got a couple at the Goodwill. So I've been having fun cutting these photos. They're all black and white photos from those child craft encyclopedias. And I figured these books will have been thrown away at some point anyway. And I feel like I'm extending the life of these photos. So these are what I've created to date. I am on number 15. I'm ready to start 16. In fact, I've created 16 through 22. The backs of these up here are drying. These are what I created for week one and week two. So what I thought I would do while these are drying is create number 23 for you. Here is the base of the ATC. I created an entire poster sheet of where I took the text from those child craft encyclopedias after I fussy cut out the photo and I collaged it down. And then I put a light gray wash with different light shades of color on them. Here is the photo that I'm going to use for day 23, and it is a young boy who's doing a painting, and he has his canvas propped up against a chair, and here he's mixing the paint. I just love to find these photos, how fun these are. And then I'm using Tim Holtz flashcards with the little words on there. And what I'm going to do, I've already fuss cut these out and I already have my base made, but I need to trim off this. I've been trimming these off so that they fit my ATC better. I'm not particular about them. If the cut's kind of crooked, that's okay. I'm not too worried about that. And then I just cut little angled squares. I'm kind of holding it off to the side so my scraps go off to the side. And I take some glue. I'm just using plain Elmer's glue. I do use a scrap piece of paper to do my gluing so that if the glue gets off on, although this is scrap anyway, but it's just a teeny bit neater especially if you are doing several of them, your desktop or what drop paper, whatever you're working on, tends to get a little messy, and one glue spot gets off on another one, and that's not a good thing. So I'm just gluing the back of this, just spreading it out. I've gotten into the habit of keeping a damp rag close by when I'm doing a lot of gluing and painting just to keep my hands clean. <laughs> Believe it or not, I am trying to do that more and more. Not that it's a big issue for me because it's not. But on the other hand, I don't like to have messy messes where I don't want them either. So I'm just going to glue 
this little guy down here. Here again, he doesn't have to be perfect, but as close to perfect as possible. <laughs> I think he's perfect just the way he is. And I'm trying to get all the air bubbles out without scraping the picture too much. I don't want to scrape it off. And then I do go back and turn it upside down and trim off the little edges that are sticking out. Here again, it does not have to be perfect because these will just be in my own stash anyway. I'm not trading these. For the enjoy, what I do is I have a craft paint, pewter gray, and I put a smidge of paint on there and smear it out and it looks like I'm going to completely cover that word doesn't it that isn't what I want so I take a towel and I just kind of pounce on it and blot away the excess paint and that gives it a gray background and see I'm bringing out the word enjoy again then I take this marks a lot marker I really do like these for edging my pieces here. I'm just going to edge this right along here with my marker just to frame it out a little. It does not have to be perfect. Think childhood fun. Think how fun it was to create when you were young. And then I am going to put enjoy right down here. Just going to glue it down. Enjoy. Enjoy your creative time. That's what that says to me, like that young man is. Now I need to wash off my hands again here. Just kind of get it. It's <laughs> and I do, this used to be an old knit top, and I cut it up into rags. And when I'm done with these, I just toss them. So if you're out doing flea markets and you see a box of old clothes for free, I noticed a box where I was this weekend, and if you're looking for old rags, just look for some good pieces that might make old rags and take them home, and there you go. Now what I've been doing for the edges, this is doing a red edge around here, around the borders. I've been using these PEBO deco markers. And I will say, my opinion of them, and the jury is out while I'm using them for the ATCs. I'm finding I have to shake them vigorously and pump them to get the color, the paint out. But I do like the paint once it's down there on the edge. But I don't like to have to do that pumping and shaking motion so much. They do have an extra felt tip here in the cap. How interesting that is. See, mine is getting pretty small. I do tend to press down on these when I'm pumping the point to get the paint out. And these are paint markers. But I am finding that if I shake this vigorously, I put it over to the side when I shake it because I don't want any paint to fly off in places where I don't want it. So I, I will say the jury is out for me on what I think of these markers. I like the color, but I, I'm not so sure about that. Now I have used this for all my ATC, so I may be getting close to the end of this paint. But uh, we'll see. The, I have uh, I bought these in a package of five and I paid twenty dollars for it, so they're about four dollars a marker, and I've only been using the red on this set. 
Now the next thing I do is turn it over, and you can see I've got this messy mess of paint. This is just craft paint on the side, but I've been doing shades of gray on the back. I use a dab of gray paint. You don't need much, I'm learning. And I think I'm going to go with the red again. Just, just a dab of red. And maybe I'll put a little yellow on that, too. Ooh, that's a lot of yellow. And let's just put some gray, shades of gray here. And I just do the finger painting. I don't like so much yellow on it, though. So I can kind of blend that in. Okay, time to wash my hands again. <laughs> Not really wash my hands, I'm just wiping the excess off. Now I use a heat gun, so heat gun alert. This craft paint does dry fast. I'm really happy about that. These ATs work up really fast. I'm on my eighth one today. Now I write with my fine line paint applicator on these. I just do a really scratchy, fast, free writing, and I write shades of gray, and I'm on number 23, ATCA Day 2017. That's what I'm writing on here. And I'm finding with these paint applicators, if you just Go at it fast. Don't worry about it. Don't try to be perfect because with these, you're not going to be. And your writing comes out nicer if you just move along and don't hesitate. And this is number 23. And it's a T C A D A T C A day and it's two o one seven and I like to put a little border around the edge here again very free very loose not carefree that's what I, how I like to think of it it's being very carefree because when you're young as the children are on my ATCs. You should have a carefree life. Now I'm going to wash the black off of my hands again. And I'm going to use my heat gun again. Now you will see where on my last, when I used the heat gun before, I held it down. And that, when you have an entire painty, wet, painty surface, your paper tends to buckle. And if you just hold it while you're doing your heat gun, it will dry flatter. Now that's not completely dry. Where there's little blobs of paint, they're not completely dry. So I'm going to set this aside. And while it's drying... Let's look at what I created for week three. I'm starting with number 16. And here's this little gal. She's writing some paper. She's got her little dolly propped up there. And I chose the word dream. Number 17 is wonder. And actually, this is two young men, and they were at an airport, and they're sitting on their suitcases. One is keeping busy, I believe, with a, a pet, a rabbit or a cat, and the other one is reading a comic book, I believe. Things like this do not bother me. It's a little splotchy in there. This is very distressed. This is 
those things just don't bother me for this. I'm not shooting for perfection. Shades of Grey number 18 is Embark. And this young man is actually seated on an airplane. And the picture was actually a circle. And I fussy cut out that circle. Maybe not perfect, but I do like it. He's off on a journey. Number 19. Number 19 is good. And here's a young boy and a young girl. And it looks like they're having lunch. Looks like she's pouring milk into his cup. Sharing lunch with him. So I chose the word good. Number 20. For day 20 is little. I'm running out of words that match my ATC. I'm trying to choose words that may match what's going on in the, the picture. And here again, this is pulling things from different sources and putting them together. Composite. Composite art journal. This young man is painting a fire engine. He's kind of seated down and he's just having fun. I think he's painting it red. Little. Number 21. Day 21. There's two young girls. I chose the word hello. Looks like they're best friends. Best forever friends. And 22 is life. And this is just a young man staring off into life. And I really like it when these things show up. This is just random text on the page and it says a second chance. So I think this young fellow's getting a second chance. Maybe he was naughty and <laughs> maybe he redeemed himself and he's getting a second chance in, in life. He's not going to get that spanking after all. And then number 23 was what we just finished. Still a little wet in there, but it is enjoy. And that's the young man painting his picture. So I have all these others. These have been really fun to do. I have week four left to do. So this was what day 23. I have 24 through 30 to finish and I might do clear to 36 so that I can get nine on a page. That's what I'm thinking. I'm not sure yet. We'll just we'll see how it goes next week. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next page.